We're no strangers to angles. You know the rules, and so do we. A full 180 is what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from a 360. I just want to tell you how to solve it. Gotta help you understand. 45, 90, 45 have two congruent sides, and hypotenuse is x rad 2. 30, 60, and 90 sides x and x rad 3, and the hypotenuse is x times 2. We've known triangles for so long. Your brain's been aching, but you're too shy to say it. Inside we both know what's been going on. We know the game and we're gonna play it. And if you ask me how I'm solving, don't tell me you're too blind to see. 45, 90, 45 have two congruent sides, and the hypotenuse is x rad 2. 30, 60, and 90 sides x and x rad 3, and the hypotenuse is x times 2. 45, 90, 45 have two congruent sides, and the hypotenuse is x rad 2. 30, 60, and 90 sides x and x rad 3, and the hypotenuse is x times 2. Ooh, special right. Ooh, special right. Always gonna solve, always gonna solve, special right. Always gonna solve, always gonna solve, triangles. We can apply this in real life. In engineering, it's not difficult to do. Measuring side lengths without any strife. It's applicable in too many ways. I just want to tell you how to solve it. Gotta help you understand. 45, 90, 45 have two congruent sides, and the hypotenuse is x rad 2. 30, 60, and 90 sides x and x rad 3, and the hypotenuse is x times 2. 45, 90, 45 have two congruent sides, and the hypotenuse is x rad 2. 30, 60, and 90 sides x and x rad 3, and the hypotenuse is x times 2. 45, 90, 45 have two congruent sides, and the hypotenuse is x rad 2. 30, 60, and 90 sides x and x rad 3, and the hypotenuse is x times 2.